What's up guys, Mark Bragg here with yet another video and on today we're going to be talking more about iPhoneography and iPhone videography, uh, so to speak. But uh, the biggest problem that I have with using uh, my cell phone to record videos or take a lot of pictures is the fact that you start chewing through that storage pretty quick. Now, me personally, I knew that I'm a data hog as far as internal storage goes and I went on ahead and bought uh, the 128 gigabyte internal storage iPhone 6S Plus. A lot of people do not do that. They buy the smallest, most uh, cheapest iPhone so that they can get all the benefit of having an iPhone without actually having to attach that larger price tag. But for you guys, I have a solution. So if you guys are ready, let's check this thing out. Sometimes the biggest challenge to us creatives is not having enough room to store all of our ideas. While internal storage on your phone may be expensive, the Olala oh iDisc can definitely make it less so, should you go with a smaller capacity phone. While not only expanding the memory capability, it also enables more practical and reliable transfers between your iPhone and your computer. It's small and compact and light and definitely not bulky. This makes it an ideal solution for those that love to stay nimble while out in the field. The best feature of this little guy is that it's an all-in-one solution. No wires, no cables, just direct access to both lightning and USB connectors. When you want more storage, simply pop off the cap, connect it to your phone and BAM! Instant upgrade. Now that's just about as simple as it gets, and when storage is always a concern, especially today where 4K is the rule and not the exception, the iDisc is an absolute must have. When you first plug in your disc, it'll prompt you to either open the app or download it from the app store. From there, you can open up your photo library, you can browse all of your different folders, check out what's already on the disc, and explore even further depending on what you've already transferred over. Uh, you can also access the iPhone album, the in-app storage, so the app itself also has storage of its own, and you can also access directly from the camera to do video or photos and transfer it directly onto the app. So far, I am absolutely loving this little guy. It has totally changed the way I actually take photos and videos because now I don't have to worry anymore about my storage. So there you guys go. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this program. And if you did, giving it a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share it on the internet with your friends, family, and colleagues. At any rate, guys, thanks again for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I will see you guys again on the next one. Peace.